I literally just came from the movies. Uh, I watched Terrifier 3. Uh, definitely better story-wise compared to 1 and 2. So let's see. Terrifier 3, biggest mystery questions that still haunts us. And yeah, there's definitely going to be another movie after this because, uh, yeah, that ending, yeah. I have to go back to the Terrifier. A demonic killer clown packed into a story with some gruesome violence and sickening kill scenes is the perfect staple for the Halloween season. And the Terrifier franchise has delivered the goods so far. What Terrifier the, 3 has been... What in the payday song is this? In no exception, with the antagonist Art the Clown back on another murderous spree that keeps the body count high once again. This time around, he even has an accomplice and it is... The bathroom scene absolutely wild. Up to his angelic opposite Sienna to bring him down. However, the movie does end on a cliffhanger, and with the possibility of a sequel to finish the franchise, we cannot get over the multiple mysteries that have been left unexplained. Oh, yeah, In definitely. this video, we will try to definitely a sequel for find sure. the answers to some of the biggest questions that still need to be answered before the series ends. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel this is a small mm -hmm. click for you but for us it means a lot thank you let's begin how can you be sure it was really him i could feel it what is Art the Clown's next move? Will he work alone or serve a darker force? Art the Clown is easily the highlight of the franchise and over the three movies, his character has transformed significantly. He went from being a random- Yeah, I don't know if there's gonna be anyone else. ...random psycho <clears throat> clown in the first Terrifier movie to a supernatural entity in the second. By the third movie, we know that he is working to serve a demonic entity, mm -hmm. which is probably the same demon that possessed or represented the little pale girl in the the second movie the way terrifier 3 ends it seems like the yeah, I assume the little girl's spirit went to the other chick demon has been dealt with for now but art the clown is still out in the open and we wonder what his next move can be first and foremost we expect art to be in survival mode and he will need some time to regroup after the crushing defeat at the hands of sienna oh, yeah. also we have <clears throat> learned that sienna is actually the angelic opposite of art and she is someone who can potentially end his evil reign for good that being said, Art will also know about this by now, and vengeance will be on his mind. Besides, killing off Sienna might make his job a lot easier if he can get the job done somehow. We believe that he will continue to serve the demonic force or any other similar dark power in order to enjoy his superpowers. There have already... Hmm. I always assume that... <clears throat> or I assume that this person right here... Sienna might make his job a lot easier if he can get the job done somehow. We believe... I thought this was this guy right here was arts and this was the demonic thing. ...that he will continue to serve the demonic force or any other similar dark power in order to enjoy his superpowers. There have already been multiple ideas and fan theories floated for the sequel that is almost a certainty at this point. Already? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming the next movie is going to be her trying to get her person back point the actor playing art the clown has revealed in an interview that he would love to delve into the human side of the character and we can probably see a backstory human? that explains his bizarre nature as far mm. <clears throat> i mean at the end of this movie there's a lady with the book that references his origins so as far as the next move of the demented killer clown is concerned, he might start another of his killing sprees on the very bus that we see him board at the end of Terrifier Probably. 3. He might be injured, but never has that stopped Art from enjoying his brand of murderous sadism. Yeah, dude, brother's been... Brother's been getting... Brother got stabbed so many times. Demonic entity that powers him should heal his injuries soon enough, and he should be back to torment Sienna unless she plans way ahead and gets one up on him. Yeah, he's... Me too. Hey, <laughs> this fucking scene. No is art truly immortal or is there a way to stop him the future um, uh, maybe like a ritual of art the clown because he literally got decapitated got stabbed there's no way of killing him probably a, like a ritual uh exorcism actually depends on his immortal nature and this is a question <clears throat> that has been bothering the fans since the beginning of or just explode his entire body no well the franchise no. in the earlier stages it seemed as though art could be hurt 
and he was clearly bothered by the injuries that were caused to him. He seemed to be in pain, and one could assume that the only reason that he didn't die was because he wasn't injured severely enough. Aside from major blood loss, there was nothing serious that could potentially kill him. Earlier, in Terrifier 2 Art has been shown to be revived after seemingly dying at the end of the movie. In mm -hmm. Terrifier 3, we have seen Art being attacked by Sienna using the magical sword gifted to her by her <coughs> father. He gets stabbed, and even though he is able to escape using a distraction, he is clearly battered and bruised. The franchise yeah, doesn't lay out true. in clear terms whether or not art is truly immortal but it is i mean i think like uh he got decapitated with a sword so that doesn't kill him it probably just stops him quite clear that his life operates outside the usual human parameters of death the fact that he can be resurrected by some force makes his immortality viable and we are yet to see a comprehensive method that can keep him dead now if his extended survival is courtesy of the demonic force then he might be somewhat of an immortal you can compare him to the likes of freddy and jason in this regard mm. and even if one gets the better of him there is enough plot armor to bring him back for an extended run of the franchise but yeah. this brings us to the next big question. How can this demonic killer clown be stopped? The magical sword that we have seen Sienna wield might be key to ending him permanently, but there is nothing to suggest that he wouldn't come back. But, I mean, the sword is now gone. <laughs> back for revenge. Also, if the body we see is merely a vessel, the demonic entity can simply possess another and the vicious cycle would continue. One thing that can potentially end his menace permanently can be finding a way to banish him to the hellish dimension mm -hmm. that we get a glimpse of in Terrifier 3. If his return is stopped, we can expect him to remain there and be less of a threat for others in the mortal realm. Yeah, that's like... Did Jonathan Shaw... Yeah, that's like the only way I would assume to get rid of him. If physically it's not going to work, then spiritually. Hellish dimension that we get a glimpse of in Terrifier 3. If his return is stopped, we can expect him to remain there and be less of a threat for others in the mortal realm. Did Jonathan Shaw really die, or is there more to the story? I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> why, would, why would he hold back? <laughs> why would Terrifier or Art the Clown hold back on killing him? Come on. One of the most shocking moments of Terrifier 3 is the death of Sienna's brother Jonathan, who survived the ordeal of Terrifier 2. However, there are certain details about his death that makes us wonder if the character really died, or it was simply a trick played by Art to torture and torment Sienna. We have learned yeah. from our experience of slash. I mean, it was never shown. He died, or it was simply a trick played by Art to torture <clears throat> and torment. I feel like, I feel like. Um, if it was a lie, then he would have appeared, but he didn't appear, so... Sienna. And I mean, he's not, like, really a character that's, like, if he's alive, like, you know? We have learned from our experience of slasher flicks that off-screen deaths cannot be trusted, and that is precisely how Jonathan's death has been handled in the movie. In the climactic moments of the movie, Art and his accomplice Vicky get to Jonathan before Sienna can, even though she manages to convince her brother about Art's return after the events of the second movie. When Sienna is held captive at her aunt and uncle's house, we see both of them killed brutally enough. Then, a skinned head is brought out, and it is shown to be gnawed by rats. At first, Sienna is told that the head belongs to her cousin Gabby, but later, we oh, see that cousin? Gabby is alive and well, and it is implied that the head belongs to Sienna's brother Jonathan. There mm -hmm. is a big chance that the dirty trick is simply a tactic employed by Art to leave Sienna disturbed and troubled. It would create a major distraction that would then allow the demonic clown to finish her off. Oh, that is true, but like, you know, I feel like Terrifier is more of a gore thing, more of a shock thing than like story story wise, but I don't know, you never know. However, the plan doesn't work and we wouldn't be surprised if we see Jonathan alive and well in the next movie. Even a hero needs an accomplice and Jonathan is more than a capable young fellow who can be her sister's sidekick in this mission. We have no clear evidence that the head belongs to Jonathan apart from the glasses and if the character is indeed killed off, that will leave Sienna with absolutely no one by her side. Unless mm -hmm. the franchise wants to explore a desperate and vengeful version of the protagonist Antagonist. We don't see <gasps> one. Oh, I feel like the next one is going to be like <clears throat> he opens up a path to hell, and then the other characters from what was the other movie? His origin movie or short film, they come out and they start attacking her. <gasps> 
Oh. Why he would be killed off at all. I have to go back to the terrifier. Is Sienna Shaw destined for hell in Terrifier 4? Mm -hmm. Another great tragedy yep. that we witness at the end of Terrifier 4. Because I mean, literally, she, I, I think she was like, uh, I'll find you or um, I'll go and find you or some shit like that. Four is when Sienna's courageous cousin Gabby falls through a portal to hell. That Dude, <clears throat> is that, is that, um, the origin of, of Art the Clown? Is it on YouTube? Cause that would be kind of cool. Fuck, what was this shit called? Art the Clown. That would be kind of cool. To watch. That opens up in the floor. This happens right after Sienna beheads Vicky, and it is hinted that the hellish dimension is now the new home for Gabby. However, Sienna has far from given up on her goal of rescuing her cousin. She promises to do just about anything to bring her back, which makes us wonder what she is destined for as she tries to find her lost cousin. Earlier, we have seen Sienna being killed by Art the Clown in Terrifier 2, and she was subjected to the clown's <coughs> personal hell for a while. However, it was also clear that she has the ability ability to escape hell or even resurrect herself just like her demonic opposition art. oh yeah i forgot that she did that on the second one she fucking revived herself thus and she had that fucking power it wouldn't be completely out of the blue to see her willingly venture into hell to secure her cousin. Also, it seems like her special magical sword has also been lost to this realm, and from what we have known so far, the sword is Sienna's best possible bet to defeat Art. Since we don't really know the fate of Jonathan, there is also a slim possibility that he is wrapped in the hellish realm as well. In that case, stepping into the hell domain might actually be quite rewarding for Sienna. Whatever be the case, it does seem like Sienna Shaw is is destined for hell at the moment, and it might not be such a bad thing for the story. Will Gabby be trapped in hell forever? Gabby has been quite a spirited young lady in her limited mm, appearance in Terror Probably not. Fire 3. In the crucial final moments of the movie, she is actually the one who shows Sienna the way and <gasps> leads. Wait, hold on. There's a trailer. The Nine Circle Teaser Trailer 2012. This is probably going to be ass, but... <laughs> if the first terrifier was shit, this is going to be shit. Okay, we got a bird. Mm. Okay, this definitely doesn't seem like a thing that I could probably react to. This seems like something that would uh, get my shit clapped. <laughs> Let me see. I think the first terrifier is free with ads. Let me see if this one's free with ads. Oh, look, it's not here. Well, it's the magical sword to her. However, the tragic turn in the story ensures that she falls through the portal to hell and Sienna is distracted enough to let Art get away. Gabby is clearly distressed and we see the last of her as she disappears through the portal. Sienna promises to get her cousin back by any means possible, but things might be easier said than done. For starters, Sienna doesn't really voluntarily go into the hellish domain, or at least we haven't seen any such ability in the franchise so far. Thus, the first challenge for her would be to find a way to Gabby. Even uh -huh. if she does, Gabby doesn't have the same special abilities like Sienna, and coming back from hell might not be so easy for her. Yeah, she's gonna be stuck there. At least, at least she has the sword, so she could protect herself. In that case, you can end up- At the same time, she's a fucking child. With a storyline where Gabby is trapped in hell forever, and the fury of the tragedy might just motivate Sienna enough to permanently destroy Art the Clown. Oh.
Marvelous Verdict, a movie that sets up the franchise. We are not a big fan of cliffhangers unless they mean a lot for the future of the franchise. As far as Terrifier 3 is concerned, there are many questions that remain to be answered, but the good thing is that the movie series is far from over, as has been confirmed by the director himself. Oh, he has wow. also claimed to have a proper ending in his mind, which will require one or two movies, and thus it is important to keep some cards close to the chest. We don't mind how both the protagonist and the main villain are still out there trying to get the better of each other. Also, the possibility of more context and backstory is also quite an exciting prospect for the fans of the mm -hmm. franchise. Overall, it will be a worthy wait for Terrifier 4, especially if the sequel can tie up all the loose ends. Do let us know in the comments below what you think are the rational explanations behind the unanswered questions in Terrifier 3. Also, share your views on what can be the ultimate fate of Art the Clown as he faces off against Sienna in a potential sequel. Mm, imagine like the ending is like um instead of fighting art in the name of the art the clown and the Sienna Shaw may we bless this review instead of finding uh or the last movie she defeats Orts, but now it's uh, time to defeat the the, the actual demon. <gasps> Blood of the innocents. Oh, I'm just kidding. This is.